last episode I texted her to ask her if she wants to go out with me basically like on a date to this uh, jazz bar that I just found out so it's like this really cool jazz cafe in town like not far from the university where we were studying and I heard there was a live band playing there so I really like to enjoy live music and so I thought hey why not I text her and ask her out on a date and so that we can go out and check out this place together so that was my strategy <laughs> First of all, I was amused by your messages. That was quite funny, but uh, I was like, I don't want to go on a date. Because I'm not that type of person that if, I, if I'm if i not sure if I, if I like someone as a friend first, I, will, I don't think I would go on a date. And I didn't know him so, so well yet. I really don't know how people go on dates. I made it totally awkward. When you don't know the person and and then one side is expecting maybe that this will end up in the next date or something like that uh, I was really like uh, nah. So in my head it was like oh my god, how do I say this without being mean? Not that I didn't like him. I remember I even texted a friend and said oh, like I like him and I hope that he's not offended, but I just don't want to go on a date. I don't want all this drama, you know I just started studying, I just wanted to focus on myself because you have to know, I never had a boyfriend before but I also didn't really want the one <laughs> you know like, uh, and many people are like oh, I really want to be in a relationship, blah blah I was like, yeah one day if I meet the right person, yes but I don't necessarily just need to be in one just to be in one, you know you met the right person <laughs> yeah, that's for sure, but back then I didn't know that yet yeah but uh, well, I didn't know that she didn't have a boyfriend before, so yeah. Well, I I went for the move and I asked her out. And oh, well, what did you reply exactly? Yes, I said uh, sorry, but I'm not really interested in dating right now. <laughs> <laughs> Quite funny if I think about it now. Oh, but you have to understand that's five years ago. Okay, I was just eighteen. Yeah, and I was literally not like most 18 years old with a lot of dates nothing wrong with that or something but i was just like really know how to handle it anyways mm. uh, so anyways i said i'm sorry like um, at the moment uh, i'm not interested in dating yeah, yeah that's what you said yeah, yeah because so much drama from it yeah often and then i said uh okay it's okay of course i was disappointed mm. because i was expecting it well, my strategy failed, didn't work. And then I said, okay, it's okay, never mind. I barely like someone, so she was like basically... I'm better now, you only like me. <laughs> but I really liked her back then. I mean, of course, I still like Back then? No, 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 no I, still, I mean, I still like her. I mean, like back then, uh, I didn't really have my eyes on anybody else besides you. So I was like really hoping that she texted yes and we could have gone on that date but it didn't work and it was such a tragic tragic uh, fail and then and i didn't think that because he was so chill like, the way he replied was just like okay sure no problem yeah, I so i thought cool. yeah so i thought that you're quite didn't really care you know that much but that also made the impression to me mm. that you also didn't really care about me so much or mm. about the day. It was just like, ah, you just try, you just go out. Maybe this week you go with one girl, next week you go with another one. No. Yeah, that was my impression from it. But I was really sad actually for like a few weeks. But I couldn't accept it. Because I'm a man that can't accept a no for an answer. <laughs> okay. I definitely can't take no for an answer. I'm not that kind of person. So what I did was, after she rejected me for the first time, to ask her out on that date to that jazz cafe, what I did was there was a winter prom. Mm. And I actually wasn't so keen to go. Can, yeah. I ju can I just say that part? Everyone, especially the girls, were like, oh, I'm so looking forward so much to the prom. Do you know what dress to wear? I'm just like, I didn't mm. even want to go. I just went there because my friends convinced me, I guess. Mm. So I bought the ticket already. Yeah, so she bought the ticket, I bought the ticket because all my friends were going as well and stuff and then what I did was of course I had to go for a second strike 
for the second hunt. <laughs> and then I texted her and I asked her if she wanted to come to prom with me on a like a date. Not like a date, but I called it yeah, like a prom, prom date. Prom date, yeah. yeah. Like so I texted her after like a few weeks. After a few weeks of being sad, I texted her and asked her again if she wanted to become my prom date for this winter prom. Yeah, so I texted her and I said, uh, Hi, do you have a prom date already? Because I don't. Uh, would you be interested to go to prom with me? I remember I texted another friend and that friend is always like, just go for it. Just try it. You cannot lose anything. Because the opposite of me with dates are more like better no than yes, you know. And then I was like, yeah, okay, I'll say yes. First you time. have to hear to this part. This part is even more tragic, but just hear it. <laughs> yes, but just as friends. So I told him that, yeah, sure, we can go as friends. Seriously. <laughs> it implies like that. Because. You know, I didn't, I didn't want any expectations. I personally believe that if you have a solid friendship first, you really know the person and then you go into a relationship that's better. Uh, just my feeling. That's I don't want to date someone just after knowing them for two weeks. Sorry. And so I was like, wow, that was a, that was a low blow. She didn't want to go out and date with me to a jazz uh, cafe. And then now that I ask her out, for the winter prom she texted me back and said sure but just as friends but just as friends <laughs> but like i said i can't take no of an answer so i took the best offer that was available and <laughs> we decided to go to prom together mm -hmm. he is someone who's a bit bad with words so sometimes he doesn't mean <laughs> it in a bad way but it comes off wrong yeah in what sense uh like uh, okay there was there was this one situation okay uh we were in uh a smoking shisha with the friend like uh, some some other students in a group um in the evening after the class or something like that and then the conversation was about prom and that he has asked me you know and he was there as well yeah so first everyone was like yeah she's so tall and you ask her exactly because i was one of the tallest and then he's like yeah because everyone else already had someone to go with how rude is that to say in front of so many people that's such an insult okay we we'll scrap this part out after that I, someone came to me i mean everyone was just like this like he didn't say that he made me look we don't gonna scrap that part out that's reality because i was a little bit mad subconsciously unconsciously a little bit of uh i don't know but i think also because everyone was like oh she's so tall you know oh, yeah. maybe as well we felt uncomfortable i don't know i didn't give a damn the fact that she was taller than me so like i'm gonna maybe go. in that situation well, let's just say it was a awkward moment i felt so bad and back then i was still also a lot younger and less confident than now and even though not that I really cared, I didn't really care what a boy would say, but just the humiliation in front of the group was a bit, yeah, a lot. Well, we'll see if we put that part in. Okay. Yeah, but on the other hand, he was quite cute, I must say. And we we were just texting in between, right? Yeah, just once in a while. And I was thinking to get her flowers on uh, prom, like to quite cute to buy her flowers and bring like flowers on the prom night and I, I texted my friends like yo bro should i buy flowers and give her during the prom and then they were like no bro don't do that it'll be like way too obvious <laughs> so so i did luckily i think if i did it would have been <laughs> pretty <laughs> hilarious the question I is think. why you're not buying flowers for me now i buy you flowers all the time all the time i bought you flowers when was the last thing on my birthday Three months ago. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, maybe we can talk about how the prom was. Yeah. So stay tuned for the next episode. Really? Oh. That's already next episode. Uh, yeah. The prom is a highlight of the whole series. Okay. Find out in the next episode how did the prom 
how did the prom went? Or how, how did, did the, the prom, prom go? goes? Go. Goes. Go. go. <laughs> My English is bad. So stay tuned for the next episode to find out how did the prom. How the prom went. Or how the prom go. <laughs> how the prom goes. How the prom go. <laughs> I don't know. I'm lost with words, but. Wait, the lighting. But not to my eyes. Okay, he liked another guy. Eh. <laughs>